All right, let's go see it. Let's I'm go sure see it. it. Let's go see your new bathroom. Look, come here. Good morning, you guys. <laughs> I must have been in like a rough mood today. I was dying laughing at the comments the other day because I said something about how snacks made it better and everyone was like, same, because that literally helps mm -hmm. her mood. <laughs> This morning is super exciting because it's our last day on our bathroom renovation. I know it's been going on for like two months and everyone's been wondering what's going on. It's a long story. I'll get into that later and we'll show you later. But he's finishing up and I think he'd Almost be finished done. today. Yeah, and today. so Emma today finally gets day. her bath time. We're gonna do a big bath tonight. Uh, a big bath. Unfortunately, I'm not so gonna excited. be here, but Rochelle's gonna give her a yeah, bath. Yeah, I'm so tonight. excited to give her a bath so, again. So I don't get to see the first one. I know. I'm sorry. It's okay. One, two. I don't think it works on that one. Oh, it's it's too small. Small. She's too big. While we're in the little play area though, I can let you guys know I finally ordered her book shelf thing that I wanted. It finally came back in stock and now I just need to order the cushions. We're um, moving the crib out of the way and everything so her playroom is going to come together. I just need to think of a way to store her toys. I was thinking maybe like a lot of baskets or, or like some sort of thing over here maybe to store them but coming together so so her bathroom's getting done today the playroom should be ready by a couple weeks from now and her bedroom is getting recarpeted on monday so it's gonna be a very exciting week for this one i'm a little jealous myself she gets lots of new things this week <laughs> Rochelle has been absolutely craving Jersey Mike's lately. If you guys didn't know, that's like one of our favorite restaurants to eat. But when you're pregnant, you can't have deli meat. And so we haven't eaten there in a while. And so I told Rochelle today because she was talking about it. She's like, oh, that sounds so good. I was like, tell you what, I'm going to go because I used to work there. And there were times where we would be allowed to cook the meat on the grill for customers if they asked for it. Sometimes if they're really busy, they're like, hey, we can't do that. But I told Rochelle that I was going to go see if they could throw some of the roast beef on the grill for her. So this happened in the car. All the vinegar spilled out on the side, and so your car might smell like vinegar for a while. I actually like the smell of vinegar. Yeah, I, they didn't put one of the lids on all the way, <laughs> so I like smelt it. I was driving, I was like, the heck is that small? I was like, oh no. And I like reached to the bag while I was driving. I was like, no, it was like all over the place. It was so bad. Your feast is ready, my darling. I'm so, I've been craving this for so long and I didn't realize that they could do it. It was like the perfect day because there was like nobody there really. So they were like, yeah, we got it. That's fine. I, love you. I got you, babe. Play with me. You can throw it at my face. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's go see your new bathroom. Emma, come here. Okay, you guys, it is finally, finally done. So it's a long story and I will explain it to you guys in a second, but here is Emma's bathtub. It needs to be cleaned because they literally just finished today. We've got our accent tile little, um, what is this called? Like a ledge niche. niche, thank you. And they did some trim along the sides to make it look good, so. We finally have a bathtub. We can't use it tonight, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Yeah, we we have to wait here. one more day. I think we can use it tomorrow. So. so for the last two months, we have been bathing Emma in the kitchen sink or with us in the Do shower. You remember when I was like, we'll be okay just to use the, the sink forever. No. I told you. Never again. So if you guys have been watching us for a little while, then you know that we had picked out originally white subway tile with that accent tile, and that is what they started doing in the bathroom and then they came across a problem because the tiles were so small it started to make the pattern 
like looked like a wave like it wasn't smooth it was some pieces were coming out further than the others and so we had to make the choice to either tear it all down and try again and hope that it didn't do that again which seemed like a lot of work um, or pick out a different tile that was bigger so that's what we went with and then we had to take like when did they tear it all down again like three weeks ago I think they tore it all down because it just wasn't looking good was not up to owners expectations um, so they tore it all down and then we had to wait three weeks for this new tile that we picked to come in so they just started it last week and it's finally done finally have a bathtub it's been a really long process to be completely honest and kind of exhausting <laughs> We have a bathtub for her now and for her siblings and it was totally worth the money totally worth the effort to like have it because we've been bathing her in this kitchen sink since we moved in for two months and uh, it's not a fun thing it's really not <laughs> why is that so funny <laughs> By the way, I got my oil holder thing in the mail today, and is this not the most like, besides this, just to put the vacuum thing up here, the most like relaxing thing? It'll be better once the ugly barbecue is not like right in front of the window covered up like that, but. You don't like the barbecue? <laughs> it doesn't make my, my oil area look appealing, Justin. <laughs> and so I've got this going on, got the crystal, which is actually from Justin's grandpa, which I think is really cool to have like a piece of him in here, but um, this really pretty oil thing that's holding them all in colored order, because I'm OCD. Tonight, Justin is actually going to be going to the church by himself, we can't go, because Emma, you have to be there at like 5.45 and yeah. it won't get home till like 7.30 and she goes it, down. It won't get home? It, you, it now? Yeah, um, won't get home until probably like 7.30 and Emma goes down at 7 right now based on like the time that she naps. So we can't go, but he's teaching tonight. It's not your first time, right? I think I did it like four One years ago. One time, a long time ago yeah. with the youth students, so that's really cool. He gets to do that tonight, so me and Emma are gonna hang at home. By the way, I was telling Justin, when did I tell you? I, I think I mentioned it on the vlog a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no, 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 not mommy's new robe. I think I mentioned it on the vlog a few weeks ago that I thought I was feeling babies move, and I was only like 10 weeks, I think, back then. I swear I'm feeling like random movements now. Like, I was telling Justin, like sometimes it'll be like, I don't know, like on my side, but I, I literally don't know. Like some people say that Do it can- you feel like it's real? I don't know. I don't know if it is or if it's just gas. I swear sometimes I'm like, I swear I'm feeling these babies kick like, I don't know, like right here, like kind of low, but I, Emma's first kicks were like right here. I just look fat, I don't look pregnant. Um, like right here and I'm feeling them more on the side, but they are kind of like, how do you know? How do you know when, it's twins especially, like which baby is kicking? Like that is weird. Like how do you do like kick counts? Like with Emma I had to do kick counts because of our previous loss and I don't know how to do kick counts with twins. Like how are you supposed to know which baby is kicking? Which one's kicking more? Yeah, or like, I don't know. I don't know how I'm supposed to keep track of that. Anyways, I'm kind of bummed that I can't give Emma a bath tonight. I really want to, but also look at her. Did we just finish playing outside? <laughs> You got dirt all over your face, all over your hands, all over you, but <laughs> we gotta get you cleaned up anyways in the sink. We'll figure it out. Okay, say bye bye. bye. Daddy. Say bye, bye, Daddy. Bye bye. Bye bye. Oh, we know we miss him too. Bye bye. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We got some time with mommy, okay? Look, we got your dinner getting ready to go. We got some zucchini, some pasta. It's gonna be yummy. Two hours later. Okay guys, so I just got home. I got a text from Rochelle a little bit ago and she said that she was absolutely white and she was going to bed. She made dinner for Emma tonight. She did a lot while I was gone. I've been gone for about two and a half hours. So she's asleep and I think I'm gonna go, I gotta get started on some homework. I got a lot to catch up on uh, for next week. So I'm gonna go get started on that. Um, but I'm gonna end the vlog for the night. I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate you guys. And we will catch you guys later, all right? Good night.